The Pulsar Fusion Sunbird Migratory Transfer Vehicle is a revolutionary leap in space propulsion, designed to dramatically shorten travel times across the solar system. Developed by UK-based startup Pulsar Fusion, Sunbird is powered by a cutting-edge dual direct fusion drive, using deuterium and helium-3 to potentially reach speeds up to 500,000 miles per hour. This reusable space tug could reduce a trip to Mars from 9 months to just 4, and even reach Pluto in under 4 years. But it's more than just speed, the Sunbird can generate up to 2 megawatts of onboard power, supporting in-space manufacturing, asteroid mining, and advanced deep space missions. With in-orbit testing expected by 2027, the Sunbird is setting the stage for a new era of fast, sustainable, and powerful interplanetary travel. Blue Origin is expanding its reach beyond rockets with the Blue Ring Pathfinder, a cutting-edge space platform designed to support a wide variety of missions in orbit. Think of it as a high-tech space tug, capable of transporting, deploying, and servicing satellites across different orbits including low Earth orbit, geostationary orbit, and even deep space. Powered by efficient solar electric propulsion and built with a modular design, Blue Ring Pathfinder can adapt to commercial, scientific, and national security missions alike. It can stay in space for extended periods, operate autonomously, and even assist in building a long-term infrastructure in space. With this platform, Blue Origin isn't just aiming for space travel. They're building the tools to stay and operate in space for the long haul, marking a major step toward a more connected and permanent human presence beyond Earth. Cosmos 482 is one of the strangest and most mysterious space missions from the Soviet era. Launched in 1972, it was originally designed to land on Venus, but due to a rocket failure, it never left Earth's orbit. Instead of joining its twin, Venera 8, in exploring the harsh Venusian surface, Cosmos 482 became stranded in a highly elliptical orbit around Earth. What's even more fascinating is that parts of the spacecraft are still up there today, and a chunk of it even crash-landed in New Zealand shortly after launch. The main descent module, built to survive Venus's extreme conditions, remains in orbit and could re-enter Earth's atmosphere sometime in the next few decades. If it does, it might actually survive the fall, making Cosmos 482 a ghost from the space race that could one day return to Earth. The European Space Agency's biomass mission is a groundbreaking effort to map Earth's forests like never before, from space. Launched in April 2025, this satellite carries a powerful P-band radar that can actually see through dense forest canopies to measure the amount of woody biomass beneath. This means it can track how much carbon is stored in forests around the world, offering vital data to fight climate change. Orbiting Earth up to 16 times a day, biomass will create detailed 3D maps of tropical, temperate, and boreal forests over its five-year mission. Built by Airbus in the UK, the satellite's insights will help scientists monitor deforestation, track forest regrowth, and shape global climate policies. With biomass, we're getting a clearer picture of the lungs of our planet, and how they're changing. Rocket Lab is stepping up with an ambitious commercial solution to one of the most complex space missions ever attempted, the Mars Sample Return. While NASA and ESA are working on a massive multi-billion dollar plan involving several spacecraft to collect and return Martian soil, Rocket Lab offers a faster, more affordable alternative. Using its reliable electron rocket and photon spacecraft, Rocket Lab plans to send a small lander to Mars, collect rock and soil samples, and return them to Earth, all in a single streamlined mission. This approach drastically reduces cost and complexity proving that deep space exploration is no longer limited to large government agencies. If successful, Rocket Lab will become the first private company to bring back material from another planet, marking a historic moment in space travel and opening the door to a future where commercial missions lead the charge in exploring the solar system. Amazon is launching into the space race with Project Kuiper a massive satellite internet initiative aiming to deploy over 3,200 satellites into low-Earth orbit to deliver fast, 
reliable, and affordable internet across the globe. Designed to compete with SpaceX's Starlink, Project Kuiper is focused on connecting underserved and remote areas that currently lack access to high-speed internet. Backed by billions in investment, Amazon is building advanced ground terminals, cutting-edge phased array antennas, and its own satellite production facilities. The first prototype satellites have already launched successfully, and full-scale deployment is expected to begin soon, with service planned by 2026. With the power of Amazon's global infrastructure and cloud technology, Project Kuiper could revolutionize global connectivity, bringing the digital world to millions and putting Amazon at the forefront of space-based internet communication. SuperNexus is a bold new concept for a nuclear-powered rocket that could dramatically change how we explore space. Designed to carry massive payloads and travel vast distances, SuperNexus uses a nuclear thermal propulsion system, which heats liquid hydrogen using a nuclear reactor and blasts it out to create powerful thrust, far more efficient than traditional chemical rockets. This technology could cut travel time to Mars by half and open the door to deep space missions that were previously impossible. With a massive cargo capacity and long-range capabilities, SuperNexus could serve as a key vehicle for future moon bases, Mars colonization, and even missions beyond our solar system. If developed successfully, it would represent a huge leap in space transportation, combining nuclear energy's power with advanced aerospace engineering to push humanity further into the cosmos than ever before. NASA's Europa Clipper mission is one of the most exciting explorations in our search for alien life. Launched in October 2024 aboard a SpaceX Falcon Heavy, this spacecraft is on a six-year journey to Jupiter's icy moon Europa, a world believed to hide a vast ocean beneath its frozen surface. Once it arrives in 2030, Europa Clipper will perform nearly 50 close flybys, coming just miles above the surface, using powerful instruments like ice-penetrating radar and spectrometers to study the moon's crust and the ocean below. Scientists hope to uncover whether Europa has the right conditions to support life. By exploring its icy shell, underground water, and potential heat sources, this mission could bring us closer than ever to answering one of humanity's biggest questions. Are we alone in the universe? The O'Neill Cylinder is a visionary concept for a massive space habitat, proposed by physicist Gerard K. O'Neill in the 1970s. Envisioned as a pair of enormous counter-rotating cylinders, each approximately 4 to 5 miles in diameter and 20 miles long, these structures would rotate to generate artificial gravity through centrifugal force. The interior would feature alternating strips of land and windows, with large mirrors directing sunlight inside to simulate a natural day-night cycle. Designed to support millions of inhabitants, the O'Neill Cylinder would include self-sustaining ecosystems, agricultural zones, and residential areas, creating an Earth-like environment in space. By utilizing materials from the Moon and asteroids, this habitat aims to provide a sustainable solution for human colonization beyond Earth. Space-based internet is changing the way the world connects, and Starlink is just the beginning. Powered by thousands of low-Earth orbit satellites launched by SpaceX, Starlink is bringing high-speed, low-latency internet to even the most remote corners of the planet. But the race doesn't stop there. Amazon's Project Kuiper, OneWeb, and others are building their own satellite networks to close the digital divide and connect billions of people worldwide. These systems don't rely on traditional ground cables, making them perfect for rural areas, ships, planes, and disaster zones. As the technology evolves, space-based internet will not only rival fiber optics in speed, it could become the backbone of future communication between Earth, the Moon, and even Mars. The James Webb Space Telescope is the most powerful space observatory ever built, transforming our understanding of the universe. Launched in December 2021, Webb orbits nearly a million miles from Earth and peers deeper into space, and further back in time, than any telescope before it. With its massive gold-coated mirror and advanced infrared instruments, 
Webb can observe the earliest galaxies formed after the Big Bang, analyze the atmospheres of distant exoplanets, and uncover cosmic structures hidden in dust clouds. It has already captured jaw-dropping images of star nurseries, galaxy collisions, and mysterious objects that challenge what we thought we knew. For scientists and space lovers alike, the James Webb Telescope isn't just a window to the stars, it's a time machine revealing the secrets of our cosmic origins. Intball 2 is JAXA's futuristic floating camera robot that's taking teamwork in space to the next level. Launched in June 2023, this upgraded spherical drone now features 4K video recording, smarter navigation using advanced visual slam technology, and a larger, more capable design. It autonomously glides through the International Space Station, capturing high-quality images and videos, and sending them directly to Earth all while saving astronauts valuable time. Intball 2 even played a starring role in the Kibo Robot Programming Challenge, filming student-driven robotic missions from orbit. With its ability to recharge on its own and assist in research, monitoring, and real-time documentation, Intball 2 represents a major leap forward in robotic support for space missions blending cutting-edge tech with the everyday needs of astronauts in zero gravity. Axiom Station is on track to become the world's first private space station, ushering in a new era of commercial space exploration. Built by Axiom Space, the station will initially attach to the International Space Station, with the first module launching in 2027 and a full crew habitat following in 2028. Eventually, it will detach to operate as a free-flying station, continuing operations after the ISS retires. Designed for scientific research, in-space manufacturing, and space tourism, Axiom Station will feature high-tech labs, large viewing windows, and even a luxury interior by designer Philippe Stark. It aims to be more than just a space station, it's a blueprint for the future of living and working in orbit, opening the door to a thriving economy in space. Artemis II is NASA's next giant leap toward returning humans to the moon. Scheduled to launch in April 2026, this 10-day mission will carry four astronauts, including the first woman and the first Canadian to venture beyond low Earth orbit, on a journey around the moon aboard the Orion spacecraft. Powered by the massive Space Launch System rocket, Artemis II will test critical life support systems and communications technology needed for future lunar landings. Following the success of the uncrewed Artemis I mission, this flight will be the first crewed test of NASA's deep space systems in over 50 years. With advanced safety adjustments made after the Artemis I heat shield findings, Artemis II will pave the way for humanity's return to the moon and eventually, our first steps toward Mars. NASA, SpaceX and China are racing toward one of the biggest goals in modern space exploration building a permanent base on the moon. NASA's Artemis program is leading the charge, aiming to return astronauts to the lunar surface and establish a sustainable presence by the end of this decade, with SpaceX's powerful Starship playing a critical role in transporting cargo and crew. At the same time, China is rapidly advancing with its Chang'e missions, teaming up with Russia to build a joint lunar research station by the 2030s. This new space race isn't just about flags and footprints, it's about long-term colonization, lunar science, mining resources, and preparing for missions to Mars and beyond. With superpowers competing to build the first moon base, the next decade could mark the beginning of a permanent human presence beyond Earth. The Gaia Telescope, launched by the European Space Agency, is on a mission to map our galaxy like never before. Orbiting deep in space since 2013, Gaia is capturing ultra-precise data on over 2 billion stars, tracking their positions, distances, movements, and brightness to build the most detailed 3D map of the Milky Way ever created. This incredible space observatory is helping scientists unlock secrets about how our galaxy formed, evolved, and what lies ahead. From uncovering hidden star clusters and ancient galactic collisions to spotting new exoplanets and tracing dark matter, Gaia is transforming our understanding of the universe. With every new data release, 
It brings us one step closer to revealing the true shape and story of our cosmic neighborhood. AST Space Mobile is building the world's first space-based cellular broadband network designed to connect directly to everyday smartphones. No extra equipment needed. Unlike traditional satellite internet that requires bulky receivers, AST satellites beam high-speed 4G and 5G signals straight to standard mobile phones, even in the most remote places on Earth. In a historic breakthrough, they recently completed the first-ever space-based 5G voice call from a regular smartphone connecting Hawaii to Spain using their Blue Walker 3 satellite. Backed by major partners like AT&T, Google, and Vodafone, and with their first five commercial satellites already launched, AST Space Mobile is on track to revolutionize global mobile coverage. Whether you're deep in the mountains or far out at sea, this technology promises seamless connectivity, making the dream of truly global mobile internet a reality.